he just never, died. He never went to hurt anybody, never tried to carjack. He can't even drive. Mm -hmm. And uh, I'm sure he wasn't trying to shoot anybody. He wanted the police to kill him because mm -hmm. he was tired of living. He's depressed. Yeah. Why do he you just think lost that is? his mother and uh, he's tore up because he lost his mother about a month ago and he hasn't been able to cope with that. So he's just gone further and further and further down without getting um, the counseling that he needs for his depression. He's battled with depression a long time and PTSD. His family suffered a huge loss in fires and what have you and he is not able to communicate his feelings. He has had counseling in the past from age of three on up through high school and then uh, he hasn't had any sense. I, 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 I would prefer if they would have let him out so he could get mental health counseling and some substance abuse counseling. This thing, somebody gave him a massive dose of amphetamine. Mm -hmm. And I won't know who it is, but I'm not going to... Do you know how he was released from the hospital after he went there Sunday? Because I understand he went to the hospital Sunday. You mean when the, we took him? Yeah, yeah. He yeah, checked himself out or...? Uh, they tried to... They, they, the doctor was very good and tried to get him to stay overnight because he was uh, um, very paranoid, very paranoid and had been um, looking around in the yard trying to find whoever was after him um, and um, couldn't get his uh, Get him to talk yeah. about it. He was disoriented, and uh, so well, he you had know been what to the meth, hospital you know several. He had been people. to the hospital several times yeah. with his arms. He was somebody know, beat taking, him on his arms. He was taking the cast, cast off of and and just looking all around for whoever was after him, so he could.